The history of the Papillon is traced through works of art. The earliest toy spaniels resembling the Papillon are found in Italy. Tiziano Vicelli painted these small dogs in many famous paintings beginning around 1500, including the Venus of Urbino, 1542. Other well-known artists who included them in paintings are Watto, Gonzales Cox, Fragonard, Paolo Veronese, and Mignard. In a painting after Larguillière in the Wallace Collection in London, a papillon is clearly shown in a family portrait of Louis XIV. Papillons are also in paintings of royal families around Europe and paintings of merchant class families. The breed was popular in England, France, and Belgium, which are considered countries of origin by the FCI. The papillon's history and long association with royalty have led to many stories about the breed. Marie Antoinette is said to have walked to the guillotine clutching her small dog under her arm, likely an apocryphal tale. However, tradition has it that Marie Antoinette's dog was a small spaniel that had been brought to the French court from Spain on the back of pack mules. According to the story, her pup was spared and cared for in a building in Paris still called the Papillon House. Marie Antoinette's dog was said to have descended from a very old drop-eared breed known as the Epignol Nain, or Continental Dwarf slash Toy Spaniel that appeared in church frescoes and paintings as early as the 13th century. The Papillon was first recognized by the AKC in 1935 with the formation of the Papillon Club of America. By the end of the war, the club was no longer functioning, but it was reactivated in 1948, with its first post-war specialty held in September 1954. In 1999, C.H. Latecki Supernatural Being, call name Kirby, owned and handled by John Olton of Norwalk, Connecticut, became the first Papillon to win the prestigious Best in Show at the annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. Kirby also won international success for the breed by taking the World Dog Show in Helsinki, Finland, and the Royal Invitational in Canada in 1998. Papillons also enjoy success today in competitive fields outside of conformation, including obedience and agility. Personality The Papillon is a happy and friendly breed. They love to spend time with the members of their family and play with them. They are alert of their surroundings and if they see any strangers arriving then they will instantly make you aware. They have the nature of taking up of the charge. They have moderate to high energy level and you will find them active most of the times. This breed is known to very intelligent and are very smart. You will not have a hard time in training this breed as they are highly trainable. Lifespan The average lifespan of a papillon as pets is between 12 to 16 years. Size The papillon is a small-sized breed. This breed can weigh around 4 to 9 pounds and have a height of around 8 inches to 11 inches at the shoulder. Color The papillon can be mainly found in a few color shades. They have a coat which is black and white, white, white and chocolate, fawn and white, sable, red and white in color. Coat The papillon have a straight, fine, and silky single coat. Grooming the Papillon is a moderately coated breed and they do not have the tendency of shedding much. Brushing the hair of your dog every day is not required. Brushing the hair of your pet once a week is enough to maintain their hair. This breed do not require frequent bathing. You must trim the nails of your pet once or twice a month. You can brush the teeth of your pet daily so that they do not develop tartar. You should also clean the ears of your pet frequently or else they become infected. Health While getting a Papillon you must know that they are a healthy breed of dogs but like any other breed they may develop certain genetic diseases. The other diseases that your dog are likely to be prone to are as follows, patellar luxation, hypoglycemia, collapsed trachea, progressive retinal atrophy, open fontanelle. Food The meals of your Papillon must be properly monitored as they are a small-sized breed. You must feed your dog one-fourth to one-half cups of dry food divided into two meals a day. It is advisable that you get the diet of your pet properly monitored by a vet.